Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a curl login uh, using PHP, obviously curl. You need curl logged in, I mean you need curl installed on your um, server or whatever you're using. If you're using a shared hosting and you don't know what curl is, uh, you can create a PHP file uh, like this. PHP type post I mean type uh, PHP info and then these uh, and then close it like that I'm gonna let you look at that for a second upload it to your site whatever you want to name it and then go to that link which I'm gonna go to right now this is mine PHP info and you're gonna search for let's search for curl now if you see with curl or if you see this section right here which basically sees, says curl and curl enabled right here then that means you have curl and you could uh, do this okay so let's get to the uh, coding I guess here's three functions I made if you if you're not really uh, uh, if you don't really know a language is that much I guess you could just pass through this whatever I say um, this is the the login function, the grab page function, and the post data function. I've gotten this from something before, but I can't remember exactly what. Uh, this is my modified version, and uh, that's why I'm showing it to you today. Okay, so um, this function logs you in. Uh, it uses the cookie file. It reads from the cookie file and uses and uses the cookie file, while post data, which is the same thing, would be the same thing as login only uses the uh where is it only uses the cookie file to read it doesn't write to the cookie file so that's different also it uses um uh, a header as expect nothing as a header uh that's for v bulletin forms i've used earlier before in previous projects um what else are the differences oh yeah okay this one follows locations and returns the transfer while this doesn't do any of that so um, there are significant differences between logging in and posting data. Well, grabbing page, grab page is just as basic as using the user agent and using the cookie file and the URL. That's all that that is. Okay, let's get um, started, shall we? Okay, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you. Um, actually, I want to clean out the cookie file so that I do not have a login. Uh, okay, let's clear that out. Save it. Clear that out and save it. I'm going to grab um, the page of HackForm, which, uh, let me just go to HackForm's main site, HackForms.net. I'm going to grab uh, the page of HackForms.net. Okay. And to make that show, we need to echo it out. So we're going to echo that out and save it. And then I'm going to go to the site, which is postspam.php, which was the URL I used. Okay. Now, if I go to this, um, you're going to see that I actually grabbed this page, except the difference is, is this one's not logged in. It says, hello there, guest. And this one's logged in. It says, hello there, ugly. So there are differences between the both. This one's not logged in, and this one isn't logged in. So let's get this one logged in. And to do that, we need to uh, grab the post data fields that is used to log in. And to do that, we're going to log in. And I don't have my right password for this, so I'm just going to type anything. It's going to take us to this page right here. And then I have the right password here. So I'm going to open up HTTP Fox. I'm going to start it and I'm going to press login and stop because we already have the field right here that we need. Okay, the URL is hackforms.net slash members.php. So we're going to put that in as for the login field. So we're going to put login, login, and then we're just going to close that up for right now. And then we're going to start it. Okay, the URL is hackforms.net slash members.php. Let's get the post data, which would be in this post data right here tab. And then you click raw, and then you select all, copy, and then you 
go back here and you just paste it. As you can see, my password is pretty long. Some weird, obvious letters and then numbers and stuff. I keep myself secure. And you know I'm going to change my password after this. That's obvious. Uh, by the way, if you want to know, I, I keep all my passwords stored in this, like, vault type theme, Bob. Yeah, it's called password. Something in weather. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we have our data. So, uh, let's save this. Okay. Now we're logged in. Let's move this grab page under the login and let's see what it looks like now, shall we? Voila! Now it shows we're logged in on this post spam instead of us as a guest. That's amazing. Okay, now let's grab a page that we're normally not allowed to grab as a guest, and that would be this Uber section. So let's grab this link and let's put it right here. And save it. And let's go here. And voila, it showed us this page. That's amazing. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, dealing with posting data. Um, I'm thinking we go to the test form. So let's go to... Uh, oops, general topics. Sorry about that. Let me remove that. Um, actually, let me go to my profile, my, my profile real quick, how do you do that, jeez, can't click my name here, let's go to testing, let's go to new post, let's, actually, I have a post right here, okay, let me click edit, quick edit, I'm going to type, hello there, this is a curl post. I'm going to put these in um, hyphens in between each uh, each section so that I know uh, where to stop and where to end. Okay, clear this, click start, and click save changes. It's going to save the change. So hello, th this is there, this is a curl post, and we have it right here. So this is the URL, we're going to copy it. Uh, let's make a new thing called uh, post data and then we're gonna have a URL and then we're gonna have the post data so the URL is this what we had and then the post data is this so let's get that done okay so the message started from this hyphen to this hyphen which is basically value equals and let's change the value equals to um, let's see okay yikes I lost myself again okay value equals I don't know uh, hello this this post was edited through curl by ugly. Save it. Um, let's actually remove this grab page. Save it. Then grab this page. So go back down here. Echo. Oh, echo grab page. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Click refresh or enter on post spam and let's go down here and then it's gonna say hello this post was edited through a curl with curl by ugly if I go back here and refresh it now says hello this post was edited through curl by ugly and that's the power of curl hope you enjoy the all this I guess these three functions will be down below yeah hope I hope you uh, I hope I helped you out <laughs> thanks for watching